Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are going to see how to use for loops in Python. So first of all, what are for loops? So a for loop is used to iterate over a sequence and that sequence can be a list or a tuple or a dictionary or a set or a string. So for that, I'm going to declare some variables and the first variable is A, which is a list second variable is b which is a tuple third is c which is a set fourth is a string and fifth variable is e which is a dictionary now before seeing the syntax of for loop i'm going to show you how to use in operator in python because it's used in for loop so i'm going to first of all use print and then i'm going to use zero and then use in operator and then I'm going to use this first variable which is a which is a list right and let's see what happens when I try to run this code so it prints true so in operator will give you true or false depending upon whether this value is present in your sequence or not so for example when I write 100 here which is not present in the list it's going to return us false so this you can use with the tuple also let me uh, just uh, use it with tuple and let's use uh, one here and i'm going to run the program and it prints true once again also we can use in operator with strings so i can uh, write d here but for that i need to convert this one into a string so now when i run the code it will give me true now let's see how to use a for loop in python so for loop as i said we can use with some sequence so let's use it with a which is a list so i can write x in a and a is a list in this case and then i can just print the value of x and let's see what happens first of all when we just write this kind of a for loop so we are going to run the program and what it does is it prints the values from 0 to 5 which is the element present inside the list so for loop is going to iterate over your list one by one and this in operator is going to check whether this value is there in your sequence or not in this case in our list or not so first of all when for loop start it will transfer the first value which is 0 into x and then it checks whether x is in this list a or not and then it's going to print the value of x which is 0 and once again program sequence goes here and once again the next value is transferred to x which is 1 and once again this condition is validated if 1 is in this list a or not and then the value of x is printed which is 1 and this iteration goes on and on until 5 is reached which is the last value in the list so 5 is printed and after that there is nothing inside x and then the program flow comes out of this loop you can also use this uh, for loop with the tuple also so let's try it with tuple and let's see what happens and it's going to print the same values also with uh, the set let's see what happens so i'm going to run the program once again and it prints 0 to 5 once again because these are the content of the set also once again let's try to use this uh, for loop with the string and let's see what happens and it's going to print out the content of this string which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and it prints them one by one now with the dictionary we use this for loop in a little bit different way so for example i will uh, write the variable name which is a dictionary and then let's say i want to just print all the keys inside this dictionary then i can write e dot keys and then we have all the keys using this function and when i run the code it's going to print all the keys inside your dictionary also when you use the function called dot values it's going to print out all the values inside your dictionary you can see max and the age 20. now let's say you want to print out all the key value pairs which are there in your dictionary you can use a function called items and this is going to give you keys and values right so i can uh, just write key 
comma value here and then I can print the value of key first of all key and let's provide some uh, space here and then let's print out the variable value here okay and when I run the code it's going to give you first of all key and then the value once again key and then the value so in order to print out the keys and values from a dictionary you can use this kind of notation now you can also use a function called range so let me show you how to use this uh, function which is range which returns us the values starting from zero so there is a function called uh, range here and in here you can provide a number and this range is going to return the number starting from zero to five so whatever number you write here the range will be returned from zero until that number except whatever number you write here okay so let me just try to print out the values which is there in the x and when i try to print this it's going to return me from zero to five and you can see here six is not printed because the range will give us the value except that value which you write here you can also provide the start value here so let's say i want to start from two and i want to go until five i can write something like this and now you can see now it pr start printing from two to five also you can give a third parameter here which is a step parameter so i can give three here for example and let's say i want to write 30 here and let's uh, run the code and now what is going to return is it starts from 2 because we have uh, given the start value 2 here and it's going to go until 29 because we have given 30 value here right and this is the step so every third value will be printed after 2 here so 5 will be printed then 8 then 11 14 17 20 23 26 and 29 every third value right if you write here 2 then we will increment in the step of 2 so this is how you can use range function with your for loop also as i said in the last video you can use else statement with your loops so i can also write else here and then after the colon in the next line i can print something or i can execute some statement so for now i will just print finished and then I'm going to run the code and once the loop is finished you can see this else statement is executed which prints finished so else statement will be executed once your for loop is finished so in this way you can use for loops in Python I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video